Can we use the phone as a home security system? Let's say for example that we go somewhere and we are afraid what's going on in our house or you have some dog in your house and you want to check the situation or anything else. Can we do that with a phone? The answer is yes. With Android, we have an application called IP Camera that you can find on the Play Store. You install this application, you put the phone in some strategic position around the house where you can see everything you need to see. You start the app, then you can connect everyone from the internet, wherever you are. You can check in real time what's going on in your house and you will see real video and audio as well. We will see in this video how to use this application and all the most important settings of this app. On the Play Store we look for the app IP webcam and we find this page and then we click on install and we wait for the installation to finish. We run the application and this is the first page that we see. We have plugin, video preferences, effects and we scroll down till the end because we are not interested now in all these settings but we want just to run the application. So we go till the bottom where we see start server and we click on start server. We allow the IP webcam to use camera to record audio and to read to access the files. And this is the thing that we see. We see the camera, this is uh, me taking, keeping the phone. And below in the video, we can see these addresses. 192.168.0.13, colon 8080. This is the address that we're going to type on our computer. We open the browser and we type the IP address that we see on the application on the phone. In this case, 192.168.0.13 and then 8080. And let's press enter. And here we will see the page of the IP webcam. If everything is correct, we should see this page. And let's now go straight to see the video. We just go on browser. And this is me in the room where I am recording right now. I just put uh, the my phone up there on the wardrobe. And in this page we can change many settings. For example, the zoom, uh, the stream quality and many other things. We can also change uh, from front camera to external camera on the phone and other things that we are not going to see right now as we are going to focus mostly on the basic use of this application. And keep in mind that now the webcam is only using the internal connection. As you see this address is the internal connection with your router. So your video won't be shared on the internet. That means that you cannot log in and see this video from anywhere you have a connection but only when you connect both the computer and your phone to the same router. If we want to stream our video online we should use the application iVideo.com so we should register on this website iVideo.com so let's go on create an account and you sign up with your email address, password, and then you decide it, whether it's for business or for home, then create account. Once we have the account, we go back to the main page of the application, till the voice connection settings, and then we choose cloud streaming, and we press that. We go now on iVideo account, we log in, we insert our email and our password, and then press login. And in this case, it's suggesting us to change the resolution of the streaming. We can either keep the resolution that we had before or change it. I use yes because it's suggesting that it, it is better to streaming to use this new resolution. Now we have successfully logged in. Then we go back. And as we did before, 
we go at the bottom and we press start server. Now it's as before, but we want different. We can see that we have not only the numbers 192 on the addresses, but also we have a third address, http colon double slash invidion.com. That means that we are, we are streaming this video. Let's now go back to the computer on the a video website and I'm going to log in with my account. And here we can see all the cameras that we have connected to this account. In this case, I have my Xiaomi phone. So I just go on this one and we will see the streaming lifetime from this phone. Of course, there is some uh, delay. It's not so quick as before. So I think there are around 10 seconds of delay if I now I'm moving my hand and you can see, you, you will see okay you will see it now so we've seen how to to use our phone as security camera on our house and how to stream it over our internal network using our router and also how to stream it over the internet we can do some more advanced application using OpenCV. For example, we can track if there are people in the house, if there is any movement inside, we can put the camera outside and see, for example, our garden, if something is going on. Stay updated and in some next video, we will see all these advanced features.